Hello everyone, welcome to another video like always. The video today is going to be this gearbox. Um, what we're gonna do? I'm gonna strip the gearbox, take you step by step, see how I'm doing, how I'm gonna fit all the all the parts, how I'm gonna fit all the parts on the gearbox. Um, I know I have recorded another video before on the gearbox similar to this and um, the video I made was like 40 minutes something like that um, I've been seeing you know it's nobody gonna watch a video of 40 minutes so I'm gonna try to split the video step by step like let's say we're gonna fit the um, support shaft that's one video we're gonna fit the um, gear select selectors, that's a different video. We're gonna fit the LSD, that's a different video. You know, I'm gonna try to split a video. Let's say you want the video for this, you go YouTube, Ford gear selector fitting, and you search and you're gonna watch the video just for this, not for the complete build of the gearbox. I think it makes more sense doing the video like that. Is he making like a 40 minutes video on complete build a gearbox? Okay, some people they may spend the time watching, but some people don't. So um, yes, so the video is going to be I'm gonna take you through every single step. I'm gonna take all the bolts, um show you everything I'm gonna do on it, but I'm gonna split into videos step by step. So um, the first step, I'm not too sure who, which one's going to be, but yeah, let's get started. So to start off, you have to drain the oil in the gearbox, oil or fluid, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, then I already cleaned this gearbox box much I could. I put the jet wash, I put some degreaser and all of that. So that's already done. It's not rocket science. So the next step, I'm gonna take the gear selector. I'm gonna take all this gear selector apart. I have to release these 13 mil bolts. One, two, three. I have to take these torques. I think it's three, uh, T40 or T45, I believe. 13 mil socket and another two 13 mil. I have to pull this out. And this just come out and these 13 mil screws and you slide this this up. So that's when this is done, I gonna carry on, take slave cylinder off. It's a nine mil um, socket. Then I just take the three bolts, put out of the way, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six bolts inside the bell housing then you have another bolt i don't know if you guys can see down here take this one as well and then take this um the six mil allen key down there and i'll remove this off as well um what's the name of this um uh, drive shaft cup something like that i believe so I'm going to remove this and then I'm going to turn the gearbox around and take all of these, these bolts. Bear in mind guys, these bolts, they are different than the ones inside the, the bell housing. These bolts here, they have, they have a washer with a bolt. The one from inside doesn't have one. So um, don't mix the bolts. Um, if you mix the bolts, what's gonna happen? Uh, they're gonna catch on the um, clutch, on the pressure plate, because it's gonna stick out, uh, out a little bit, and they may catch on the, um, on the clutch. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna take the shifter off. I'm gonna show you how to do. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use air gun. It's gonna be faster. I mean, if you guys don't have air gun, you always can use a ratchet. Does the job as well. So, this one, they are easy. Just take it off. 
put to the side. Then we have to take this clip off, come out to the adhesive, and then you have to slide this, the adhesive as well. And if you guys putting this back, if you see this is seized, just sand a little bit the thing, just make sure they are free. And then this one is just it should just slide off if it doesn't hammer we'll talk to it. Yeah, just a few taps on here. Not to measure. So a few taps. Another thing to do normally, I just slide the clip back on. Make sure I don't lose it. And then I'm gonna remove these two. And then I'm gonna remove that three bolts down there. I think this is 45, T45, remove the bolt, <coughs> the bolt is off, and we can start to remove this one from the bottom, but we have to give some taps in here, so we can start to release a little bit. Normally, I just put the bolt on here, tap this in a bit as well, and then put like a screwdriver trying to slide, slide this out. Yeah, as you're pulling this out, you have to tap this thing in. You have to tap the middle bolt in, because the selector is attached to, to this. So, yes, this gearbox is slightly different than the one I made um, a few months ago. The, the other one didn't have all of this thing. This gearbox is the same as um, FJW, the long ratio ones. As you can probably see, this is moving up here when you're pulling this off. So I need to make oh sure. There we go. I didn't want to hit it so hard, but I did have to. So yeah. That, that's it. This thing goes inside of them, the gear to, to support this all in, in place. So I'm going to put the bolts back here to make sure I know where the bolts came from. So now I'm going to remove this and slide all the, the selector off. If I could. It 
should be just slide it off. See, it just slides off. And this this bit here, put the bolts off, holds on on this one and stops the, the shifter to vibrate. So that's one. Put the bolts there. And now well, turn it to the side, remove the um, slate laser. Slave cylinder is not a rocket science, just three bolts. Just slides off. That's it. Um, don't mix these bolts with anything else because they are really hard to find because the threads are different than the normal bolts. Just put back there somewhere now I'm gonna remove the um, forgot the name already uh, cup uh, drive shaft cup or whatever it is six mil allen key <coughs> just release it and it comes off um, this this is different one side to the other one is longer than the other one so make sure, or put a mark on it, uh, just make sure when you guys putting the gearbox back together, you're going to put on the right place. Don't mix these things up, and pay attention, make sure all these springs is fine, and um, this copper washer kind of thing, make sure it's all, it's all good. Put on the back there. So now I'm going to take all the bolts and the bell housing and put them to the side and turn the gearbox around and yeah this is the bolts from the outside have this washer and if you guys look at the bolt from the bell housing, see the head, they don't have the washer. So the ones with the washer is from outside of the bell housing. The ones without washer is from the inside. So don't mix this, this up as well. So now we're just taking all the bolts off. All off. Uh, I have removed the um, gearbox oil, but still some bits of oil inside. So what I normally do is put some cloth around here, because I, I'm 100% going to leak. Um, it's not the first one I'm doing anyway, so I know what's, what's going to happen. So, I'm going to turn the, the gearbox and take the other bolts around. So, 13mm bolts all the way around. And we'll have to remove the um, drive shaft cap. So, let's start from the, the um, drive shaft cap. I need to find where I put the... There it is. Oh, easy, no rocket science. And yeah, it's all perfect. Now I'm gonna show you the difference on the size. The bigger one is from the um, clutch side, the smaller one it goes on the um, outside. So this is clutch side, this is from the other side. Of that. But I think when you're putting all back together, you can't miss it. Yeah, you can't fit the one in the, in the wrong position. So just to warn you, uh, so you don't oh why this is not fit and things like that. So yes, 13 mil bolts all the way around. I'm gonna take all of them and I'm gonna split the gearbox.
all the bolts are released. It. Take all the bolts. I, I'm mixing all the bolts because I know where the bolts should go. But if you never did this, just put in different boxes and when you're putting everything back together, you know where is the bolts belong. So all the cases are released. So we need to split the gearbox. So to split the gearbox, it's very easy. Get the screwdriver on the sides. Just a little bit and they just split. And then you can do whatever you want to do on the gearbox. So for this video is that. So I hope you guys enjoy watching and see you next time. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe it.